make the statement afterwards. And then you just going to show what you have to do about the green. Yeah. Just initial under the green, each side, each side. So we are signing today yeah. a grant agreement <laughs> through which the European Commission will give support to the housing for internally displaced people in Lviv. It is a very nice gift for Ukrainian uh, IDP's uh, citizens. Well deserved. Yes. I am ready. Day in, in Ukraine, Santa Nikolai. Yes. It's a nice okay. present for <laughs> Ukrainian IDPs, Ukrainian citizens, Ukrainian wounded. We actually have uh, uh, several grants for, but I think the the one for Lviv is the is the largest one. We are hosting a uh, huge number of, uh, of of IDPs, and we have been impressed with your unbroken. I see the. I see the the logo unbroken yeah. uh, program and and I think the the housing you'll be able to construct will be a home to to uh, the veterans and the IDPs that that actually have been have been supported through the unbroken program. So we'll have. It is a great this small gift for you, unbroken. Ah, wonderful. Thank, Thank you very much. It goes well with my with my Ukraine. I See, so I will now have an unbroken, Ukra yeah. unbroken yeah. Ukraine. Unbroken Ukraine. I have two questions, if I may, to Mayor. Uh, what is the current situation with energy supply? And uh, for Madame uh, uh, Maternova, uh, right now uh, the Commission uh, just providing some kind of immediate support uh, for Ukraine to survive this winter. But uh, do you also have some kind of long-standing plan or strategy? Коли обстрілюють українські міста, і ситуація з точки зору енергетики є надзвичайно складною, тому що є брак потужності, і сьогодні більшість українців живуть без електропостачання. Звичайно, що ми купляємо дизелендратори, нам багато їх дарують. Сьогоднішній день є особливий. Для мене особисто, для всіх українців, будучи одним з найбільших хабів по прийому наших українців, а це більше п'яти мільйонів прийшло через Львів, і дуже багато поранених, ми сьогодні підписали угоду, яка дає можливість збудувати житло для наших переселенців, для поранених переселенців, щоб вони відчули себе гідно, відчули себе гідними людьми. Це є дуже важливо, і це найкращий подарунок, який ми могли отримати до Дня Святого Миколая, який сьогодні по-різному святкують, але незважаючи ні на що, ми живемо, ми перемагаємо, і перемагаємо завдяки підтримці, яку ми відчуваємо від кожного з вас. Хотів би подякувати вам, подякувати всім, хто спричинився до цієї угоди. Це дуже важливий крок для підтримки України. Дякую. We already went through a phase where we were discussing, you know, in uh, at the conference in Lugano, big plans and big reconstruction. Instead of saying winter is coming, we need to get ready for the winter. So I think what is most important is to provide uh, money for the government to keep functioning, and that's the 18 billion euros that uh, the European Union has uh, agreed on and we will be providing uh, as of January on a predictable basis. We are also uh, going to provide money to uh, provide, I don't know the exact figure, but around uh, 100 million uh, euros for immediate uh, rehabilitation need of the bombed infrastructure right now. So yes, when the reconstruction comes, we will step up and we will have uh, programs for that, but in the meantime, uh, the government running, rehabilitating uh, the currently destroyed infrastructure and providing support uh, of humanitarian nature to people 
people in need are really the, the, the priorities uh, right now. If I may, I have one small but big question for both of you. The Commission uh, uh, quite you know, long time pushing the uh, reform of decentralization in Ukraine and what role it played uh, in uh, uh, resilience uh, of uh, Ukrainian cities and Lviv in particular. Decentralization has been one of the most impactful and most uh, far-reaching and transformational uh, reforms in uh, Ukraine. I think that the decentralization brought life and, uh, and, and, and civic activism and, uh, and uh, build institutional building of institutions throughout the, throughout the country. And I do believe that uh, the decentralization program and the, and the strength of, of the local level is one of the reasons why uh, uh, Ukraine is displaying such a remarkable level of resilience. Decentralization gave us and give every day maximum resilience. Lviv hosted IDPs, Lviv hosted wounded, and every day I think about current situation and I think about future. It's very, very important for my country and support from Euro Commission. It is great support. Thank you. I love you. I love Euro Commission. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken. I'm broken.